Hello, this is going to be a departure from my normal electronics related videos. I've had a couple of people say they wanted me to uh, document this process. I am going to build a yardistry little greenhouse about eight by seven feet over in this section of our yard. I will try to blend in some electronics, however, though, because I'm going to run some uh, power from the, our storage shed over to the greenhouse and then also to this little fountain. Here's my old uh, uh, solar panels that are about uh, at least 20 years old now and they're still going strong. However, I'm getting quite a bit of shade over here from this tree so I'm probably only getting uh, half uh, my power. On a uh, good day I'll get about six kilowatts from uh, six kilowatt hours from this uh, array. This is about a thousand watt array. They're 85 watt panels made by BP Solar. Okay, there's the start. I'm going to put it in this area here and instead of pouring a pad, uh, I'm going to use uh, these uh, precast cement uh, uh, pylons. Uh, the pad estimate was uh, just shy of $2,000. So I think uh, I'll be fine with these and then I'm gonna use a four by four uh, structure underneath and uh, I'll show my progress. A Couple of hours later and here's where I'm at. I've got the two length posts in and uh, I've made a little jig right here to Keep, so I can keep on measuring the width of the two uh, rails and I've got them pretty even. I'm using a level and my next step is to put uh, the uh, 4 by 4 posts and uh, kind of nail it together. Okay, I'm getting closer. Uh, I've got all these, uh, got the cross pieces in. And as you can see, I'm going to rest it on this pier right here. And since the uh, metal U bracket lifts it up in the air a little bit, I've put some plastic uh, door frame shims to hold this flush uh, until I get a better solution. I think I'll cut a piece of metal to put underneath there. And then I'm going to use these brackets to tie them together and then I'll probably also put an angle bracket in here. I'm going to cut this flush next and probably call that a day. I've got the Yardistry kit and I've uh, found the base pieces and I've laid them on my uh, 4x4 foundation here to make sure that uh, everything fits before I fill in the uh, cement piers. I also have the trench dug over to our shed, only cut through one sprinkler line, so I think we're good. I'll just have to get that fixed. Okay, so here's all the pieces. It came in two big boxes like that. And I'm just kind of separating the parts, seeing what I've got. And I've got three banquet tables that I'm going to use kind of for a workbench so I can more easily assemble the back and front side panels. I've uh, packed in some sand. I need to pack it down a little bit more or maybe take a little bit out because I don't want the sand to be uh, in too much contact with the boards here. Uh, I want to pretty much just have that gravel. I've got the uh, conduit all roughed in and you can see I'm going to tee over to this fountain here and it goes over there to our shed. So this is all just dry fit right now and I'm going to uh, work on getting uh, the uh, Romex in, I'm going to use a 12 gauge and uh, then I'll uh, glue it up. Got the uh, wire 
pulled through all of the conduit got a little sloppy with the uh, primer there so I'm just gonna paint that uh, uh, conduit gray And we can see that the wire comes over to this outlet and then it'll come back over and go over to the greenhouse. On this outlet, I'm gonna use a, one of these in-use uh, covers and just a normal uh, duplex outlet. And then over there, I'll detail that later. I'm going to use a GFCI breaker uh, in the shed. Here's my little uh, breaker panel for the shed. I'm going to install one of these uh, funky uh, GFCI breakers inside. Um, there is my old, close to 20 year old now, uh, Fronius uh, solar inverter. Um, this breaker panel has a shut off at our main breaker panel at our house so i'll be shutting that off so i can do everything while it's totally dead i know it's not part of the uh, greenhouse but i'm doing this so it's just easier to get around i'm doing a little uh, short retaining wall and then there'll be a little landing right here as you step out of the door of the greenhouse i ran short of a few bricks electricals in and electrical's all into here. So I just need to cover this up and we will start construction of the shed. Got the front done. Uh, you'll wanna make sure that uh, this is up on a bench so it's easier to work with. And uh, you'll wanna make sure that you have a uh, impact driver. Um, it's kind of trying to figure out the instructions. This took me about three hours. Hopefully the uh, other pieces will go faster. This part was a little confusing from the instructions, but I think I got it figured out. Basically we're creating a vent and we have to install these little blocks right down here and this spacer here. That is going to keep the width from here to here uh, appropriate and then note that we had to put in this little piece here and you want this to be equidistant in the middle when you put this in you want to make sure that your gap right here and over here is the same and that you're not rubbing on these uh, four by four posts here. And then you have a whole bunch of screws in this uh, piano hinge and you want to line that up just so that the uh, hinge is right on the gap between the door and this top frame. There we go. So <clears throat> This is probably the most obnoxious part of the setup. So we've got the this corrugated polycarbonate on this side. Apparently it's UV treated and this is just a protector on the back. You have to pull both of these off. <clears throat> Sorry, my wide angle camera lens got scratched up so I can't use that. Pull this off and then you need to put so this is the top because there's a little notch down here and I'll turn that a little notch right here so that's the bottom right we need to put uh, two different types of tape now this is probably to keep it from fogging and you know water getting into the uh, panels I say cut an inch or two on either side and some of this uh, backer is really hard to get off. I'm going to <clears throat> show this whole process and I, I, I noticed that some other 
greenhouse kits had the ends of the polycarbonate. See, now I'm, 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 I'm under the gun here, so you can see how long some of this takes me. <laughs> that some of the other manufacturers, they seal, they like heat clamp these ends closed so you don't have to worry about the water getting in or humidity getting into it. Okay, so I finally got that off. And try to get that in the middle. I'm holding this other end up in the air so I can kind of guide it down the middle because these panels uh, bend and flex. So it's kind of hard to get it on. Okay, so I'm calling that one good. And then I fold it over and go back over it. I'm a little skeptical about this tape being a long-term sealant. I saw some other videos, not for yardistry, but uh, Palram, where they were using silicone and squirting silicone into the ends here. Okay, I'll do the other end and I'm not quite sure, but this might be maybe a breathable fabric that goes on the bottom. There's two types of tape. There's a top tape and there's a bottom tape. This is the bottom tape. And you see that there's no backer or no adhesive there in the middle. And so maybe that's breathable. Haven't done my research. And you can see how terrible a job I'm doing on this tape. And I just kind of work it down and fold it over. Hold that corner right there. Okay, so that is one. Here's where I'm at. Um, I'm probably about eight hours into the build of the yardistry structure. Uh, I was probably another eight hours just to build the frame and put the cement piers in. Uh, so far, so good. I did end up putting in a hanger uh, underneath this uh, four by four. And then I still have the shim. And then I also put in a, a plate uh, joining these. And there's also a plate um, on the top as well. Just finished anchoring the uh, unit into the uh, 4x4 frame, so hopefully uh, when tonight's uh, thunderstorm winds come through, uh, we won't lose the structure. Uh, I'm on page 48 of 100, so I'm halfway through. When you're uh, screwing in these little washers here, only uh, depress the uh, distance, maybe half. I'm getting closer. I'm now putting in the uh, built-in shelves and it was a little tricky to understand what's going on. Um, so I'm just going to show a few pictures. I used one of the actual shelf elements to just make sure everything was plumb while I screw in everything in. And so I did some of this construction a little out of order 
uh, it was odd that over in this corner we had one of these little brackets that uh, I had to remove over here and uh, thought that was odd and then I saw that it was uh, actually in the instructions to remove it. Um, anyways, there we have it. Uh, I'll put a little bit more detail later. I would estimate um, I'm probably into this uh, disregarding the base here maybe 16 hours. Uh, this little base was probably an eight hour, so I'm maybe a little over 20 hours, 22, 24 hours into building this so far. I'm getting closer. I just need to put in an outlet here, and then I'm going to run power up to a switch here, which will enable a, uh, a light on the gable on the outside, and then a, a uh, light up here. I've been wrestling with how to make something look nice and be somewhat watertight here. So I'm going to use one of these guys, one of these PVC outlets that are basically sealed everywhere. And what I'll do is I'll cut these little tabs off with a, a bandsaw. And then I'm going to mount it here on a spacer, right? Like that. Oh, the uh, external light. I think I'm going to see if this will fit here. I'm going to start. I think I'll move this down a little bit so it's easier to get at. Um, I'm going to make sure that these are off. I've turned the breaker off. Yep, they're off. And I'm not sure how I want to get the wire from here over to here, whether I'm going to use a conduit or not. Um, we'll figure that out in a minute. I changed my mind. I'm going to mount the outlet right here. And I'm going to use a little bit of conduit to get over there. And it's really raining now. We're going to have to figure out how we can uh, resolve this. This gap right here gets a, uh, is getting quite a bit of drip. I might put a little external uh, lip on that. Attach the closer block, this piece here. I've been looking at these instructions for 10 minutes trying to figure it out, but I think this is what they mean. Attach the closer block. And this is the long side. Still progressing. Had to take a little bit of a break there for a week or two. Uh, I'm putting an exhaust fan in next to the AC outlet. This is a 12 inch fan. And you can see that I use some, uh, this is basically one by three furring strips to uh, help hold everything together. And this is what it looks like on the outside. And I need to pull off uh, the protection uh, plastic off the uh, aluminum. I'm getting closer. I've got the uh, floor put in. There was some uh, base sand, then a weed mat, and then this one to three inch cobblestone with uh, some foot square pavers. That's what it's looking like. I've had some problems with this. The first one I put in I probably didn't install right, or anyways, it just tore itself to pieces. I bought a second one off of Amazon. And there's our exhaust, powered exhaust fan, AC outlet right next to it. Power uh, for the lighting. I guess I should say switch for the lighting. And got a little box and uh, some LED lights. There we have it so far. I'm gonna call this project done, finish the greenhouse. Part of the greenhouse uh, ended up putting in crushed gravel around these uh, pavers. Put all this cobblestone between 
with the uh, raised beds. Got in a new uh, AC outlet over here by that fountain. Put in a little feature here with the crushed gravel. And the greenhouse. It's got a little light up here. Did the cobblestone inside underneath the cobblestone is weed mat then sand got some water coming in vent with a new opener i put in some chain here and here so when the vent is fully open and the wind catches it it'll kind of grab the chain as well here's the opener that it came with it's all bent up, busted, cracked. I don't know if I installed it wrong or the wind caught it. Uh, the uh, new unit, the metal is probably twice as thick as this unit. Underneath, I installed a ventilation fan. It's a 12 inch ventilation fan. I have a little Wi Fi controller down there. And our power, or you know, I should say our lighting control here, and there's the light. And my wife has started to move in. Uh, final, final wrap up. I forgot to mention how long it took me to put the greenhouse together. I uh, stopped tracking my time. Uh, because the project just kept on morphing into more and more work like the gravel the little uh, barriers the pavers new flower beds the electrical to the fountain uh, the little retaining wall maybe 16 hours for assembling the greenhouse uh, by itself um, and probably uh, a good over a month of a couple of hours each morning doing all of the rest of this work. Uh, but uh, I'm tickled with how it turned out. And uh, there you have it. Thank you.